Said you'll find what you're looking for when you stop looking. All of your exes were lessons in. We'll talk about them again. You keep on settling. Wonder if love is a pain or the medicine. You never let it in. Well, I guess that you're right. But fake has been never my type. And I didn't build up this wall overnight. See, I wanted more than just lust for the night. Then you came in my life. You, you, you're different than them. I'm used to them playing pretend. I'm used to your only a friend. Fell deep in each letter you send. I'm questioning love and again. I'm questioning when it will end. Then till I break it, my heart don't break even. I want this for longer than only a season. And you didn't break me. You, you came to pick up the pieces. No, you never hear it, but you is who I believe in. No one never perfect, but you are perfect to me. And lately I'm believing in love. You are the reason I'm talking to my angels above. Wish you could meet him. Wish I could see him one more day. Just to hear his voice tell me everything is okay. Just to show him that his son is your folk and to change and hear him laugh when I tell him about the stories he made. Pretending like I'm okay. I'm broken and you know it. Building up a wall and never show it. Grabbing on my face, told me focus. You're not the only one that's been broken. I'm hoping you open up. I thought what? Thinking that I'm always hoping, but I realize I've been swollen shut. There's more to us. There's more to love than surface. Lost the surface front. And the night of ice feel my guts, she said.
it. Sorry, no medicine, pennant and motion like pendulums. People don't get the point, so let me write you a pentagram. Selling your soul for a tuna can, garbage man. Sound like you auto tuna can. Who are you again? Screwing loose again. You are not the man. Couldn't picture that. Found an Instagram. Everybody sleeping on. Huh? Everybody sleeping on. Huh? Every year before this was a warm up. Sleeping pills, I don't see him keeping up. Hard to keep my manners, but I'm nicer with a pants. See the wood in different colors. Love and hate to see them plan. Everybody want the product, not the work, so they pretend like they got it, but they don't. I wonder when it's gonna end. Yeah. A lot of people love to talk. Why don't they love to show up? Too many drinks inside a controller. I don't need Jay to tell you it's over. Never play poker. All of my chips on my shoulder. Pick you apart, you a clover. Huh? Flirting with the stars, made a house among them. That's the Casanova. Listen, I'm only 22, but I feel like 59. I love the diamond on your neck. Show me the diamond in your mind. A lot of rappers in their feelings. They see the numbers doing great. They see the food that's on the plate. So they got nothing else to say. Hello there, people. Jay here as always. And today we're going to be playing more Dragon Quest XI. Something, something, something else. I can never remember the title of it. It's stupid long for no fucking reason. Uh, we're, 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 we're gonna go ahead and play this as soon as I check my levels. Oi. Game is fucking loud in my ear holes. I'm sorry. <coughs> and we will be continuing our playthrough. I don't know why we're at the crypt to crypt, but we are gonna go here. Oh yeah, it's because I tried to grind and said fuck it three minutes later. But here's what happened so far. When Hendrik and a horde of highly Doran soldiers hot on their heels, Jay and Eric have hurled themselves through the door departure and into the great unknown while soaking in the stream bass of Hato they meet a little lost girl called Connie and set out to help her find her father. While searching, they decided to help a girl called Veronica who's lost her sister somewhere. At her instance, <laughs> insistence, they set out for a monster's lair to rescue her sister Serene. Having found her, they then head further into the twisting maze of tunnels to try and find a way of undoing the process that has left her spell free and the size of a seven-year-old they eventually come across the culprit and clobber him and veronica gets her powers back but unfortunately stays the same size and as if that wasn't enough for one day they go and free connie's dad Noah, from captivity before finally heading back to hato for a well-earned rest once they get there, Veronica and Serena explain that they were set to find Jay, as it's their sworn duty to safeguard the heir to the Luminary of Legend, the one who defeated the Dark One and saved the world so long ago. It seems the next step is to go to Yagdrazel, as the Luminary's fate is un blah, 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 intertwined with that of the World Tree. Eric remembers that Noah is known for knowing everything, so the friends head to the bar to see if he has any clues on how to proceed. Alright. We're gonna go find Connie's daddy. After I fix myself and get seated properly. To figure out what our next step is. Hopefully it's, uh... It, it, it uh, you know... Furthers the story a bit. Where the, I think the bar is up here. So let's go find Connie's daddy and uh, see what we're on about. There we go. Come on, daddy. Let's go. The nice man who keeps bringing you drinks must be getting tired. Oh, her daddy's a drunk. Just one more for the road, sweetie. You never know. He might have some hot gossip that I need to hear. <laughs> Fishing oh, for hiccups. rumors, huh? Some things never change. Mm -hmm. You're Noah, right? 
In the circles I used to move in, you were pretty famous. You were the guy who knew things for the right price. No nugget of knowledge too big or too small. No other know-it-all knows them all. That's what they used to say, huh? I, I kind of like that little rhyme, not gonna lie. <laughs> and what if they did? I can't help it if juicy tidbits have an habit of falling in me lap now, can I? Well, I don't go trying to get mixed up in this stuff. It just happens. Like when I mistookenly went in the ladies' baths and their monsters, they kidnapped me. I don't think you make a pretty good-looking lady, so I think they knew. I only stuck me head in there to see what all the commotion was, and there they was, attacking some poor girl. Normally, I would have walloped a lot of them, of course, but... Bullshit. I just had me tea. The villains collared the both of us and... Well, I just hope she's all right. <sighs> Oh, God. She... kind of. Anyway, we were wondering if you might be able to help us out. What do you know about Yggdrasil? Yggdrasil? Okay. Crikey! You lot don't do things by us, do ya? Got a big score in mind, eh? Well, seeing as how you saved me life, I'll tell you what I know. Mm, fucking better. On the way here, Connie and me was traveling across the desert. When we came down, we have a bad case of heat stroke. We didn't have no grub left, no water, nothing. we just about given up hope. But then, these soldiers from Galopolis came along. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the Sultan's bleeding palace. Oh, talk about lucky. Anyway. When I come to, that's when I seen it. Beautiful it was, this rainbow-colored branch thing. Oh, shimmery and beautiful. Well, I know top-end gear when I see it. If that weren't a branch of the old world tree, I'm a monkey's uncle. Did you hear that, Veronica? A branch from Yggdrasil herself. <coughs> yes. Lighting the path ahead for the luminary. It sounds like we need to take a trip to Galopolis. Yeah, it certainly does. So it turns out you are capable of having ideas that aren't completely stupid after all. Listen here, child. <laughs> we should head for the desert right away. It's beyond the checkpoint southwest of here. That marks the border with Galopolis. I do hope you won't mind us tagging along. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. I mean, I would like a healer and a magic user on my team, so yeah, why would I, um, protest? Seriously. <laughs> By the way, they're the same age and twins. She just had the old sucked out of her. Here, <laughs> you need this to get to Galopolis. See, it's a Galopolis pass. Alrighty then. The guards at the checkpoint are awful sticklers for formalities, but if you show them that, they should let us through. Yay. So wonderful. We're gonna go to wherever the fuck they say. Let's go here. Tactics, everyone. Follow orders, because we are gonna do it old school style. Thank you. And uh, we're gonna be on our way. Where we gotta go? I don't fucking know, but um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's this way out of here. Uh, we're gonna go on, fight some things, and uh, probably get thrown out of a city or two. Oh, I've just remembered something important. And we have a long journey ahead of us, don't we, Jay? Well, I happen to know a handy little spell that'll make life a lot easier for us. 
Just give me a minute. Oh. Jay learns Zoom. Okay. You could use the spell I just taught you to travel back to anywhere you've been before. Quick as a flash. So if you want to come back here to Hado, for example, just cast Zoom. Think of Hado and you'll be back here just like that. Right now, you've got that little beauty in your bag of tricks. Let's go and find a Yggdrasil branch, shall we? Galapagos is south of west of here. Come on. Alright, that fast travel? Sure. I'm fucking down. So, uh, I was hoping we'd get something like that, but either way, that'll help grinding a lot. Alright, well, we don't really have to grind just yet anymore, but, um, yeah, once, uh, once we start having fighting, um, issues with battles in, uh, like the normal battles on the field here, that's when we'll start grinding again. Because right now, like, those little nut sacks aren't really an issue. Especially when we got a four-party, uh... A full four-party game. Ah, oh, it's gonna be cool being able to actually control those two now. Where are these guys? I want to go fight the best funny. Robber rabbits appear. Alright. I'm down. Oh. Oh, that's right. I didn't get him that fucking equipment. What is that? Well, you Alright. Uh, they seem to be hard up against fire, so. Thank you. That's a real closet. We're not gonna need that. There we go. There we go. Alright, yeah, we're. Once we get to the next, um. Town, I'm gonna have to equip the two girls. Unless. Uh, unless we, uh. We're able to make them something. Let's see. Certainly learned. Armor would be good. Let's see. Feathered cat. Well. Damn. All right, we'll make two feathered caps at least. Uh, that sucks. I'm not gonna be able to. Uh, all got one thing that'll be fine it'll give them a little better a little more defense and uh, they won't be hurt as much nice uh, let's see armors we'll do another hat for Serena and we'll try to do this one a little better Let's do this, and then we'll flourish, and then we'll just bash that one, and again we'll go here, let's do that, and then we'll do flourish, and bash there. Oh, okay, yeah, we're done with that. 
We'll keep that. We got three of the lights up. That, that should be decent. <clears throat> yes, we'll give that one to the healer. Let's see if we can make any weapons. Nope. Can't do that. But what about accessories? We only got two gold, so... Alright, yeah, we'll make that. And we'll give it to, uh... The damage dealing and magic user. Trust uh, doing another bash. Once I really figure out how this works, it should be better. Alright, let's do that. Ten crafted items. Nice. Uh, items. Item bag. Should be in the last page, right? You have hmm, equipment. Yeah, we'll give her that. And the hat, the fair should have a couple. Yeah, we'll give that to her. Does she have it? Ah, no, that's so stupid. I will give this one that feather cap. Fishnet stockings. Those that shows off the legs. I mean, why the fuck not, right? Okay, she doesn't have an outfit, so. Yeah. We'll carry on. No, oh, not sacks. Should be searching the area, honestly, but for stuff like this. But we could always come back, and I can do that off stream. Now right, we got a mini metal. Nice. Tick tock, tick tock, oh dear, oh dear, I shall be late, I fear. Oh? If someone doesn't step in to save the day, Tick Tockington's time is well and truly up. Tick tock, the clock won't stop, it's really, it really is five minutes to midnight, if only there were someone who could come to our aid. Hold on a tick, you've clocked me, am I right? Can it be true? Can you really see me? So we're gonna be able to do stuff with the ghosty ghosts. Well, it's about time. I was beginning to think I was totally invisible. This could only mean one thing. You're a hero, aren't you? Oh, tickety boy, you're finally here and not a moment too soon. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Hero. My name's Ickle. I'm a tackle from over... Tickington Way. And we need your help. I don't like the rhymes. We're having a terrible time. If it at the moment, can I ask you to come and be the hero of the hour? Phew. Thank you, Mr. Hero. I knew it wouldn't take you more than a moment's thought to agree. Uh, Jay, are you talking to yourself now? Has the sun gone to your head or something? <clears throat> well, the clock is ticking. Come on. It's time to show you and your friends the way to Tickington. Follow me. 
Oh, but wait, before we head off, this might be a good time to record your journey in an adventure log. Shall I do that for you? It won't take two ticks. Alright. Um, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll save and be on our way to ticking ten. There we go, all done. Now let's make our way to Tickington, shall we? We'll be there in no time flat. Where's the little ghosty goobler gonna bro? Oh my god. That is super old school. Tickington. Okay. Why did we just go back to the Super Nintendo? Hold on, what just happened? Things went all wavy and suddenly we're in this weird village. Oh look, he's so adorable, but who is he? TikTok, it looks like you clocked me too. You must be Mr. Hero, here's friend. Welcome to Tickington, a place that's just a little bit out of the ordinary. Normally, only certain special people can see us taco types, but... <clears throat> The second even ordinary folks set foot here in our home, they can see us too. Uh, I think we may need a little background here. Who are you? Where are we? Why the heck are we here? You know, just the small stuff. Uh, how about you start from the beginning? Do you have a little, um, explanation would be wonderful. The beginning. Yes, yes, of course, the beginning. Tickety boo. Allow me to explain. We're the Toggles, and we live here in the village of Talkington. Tickington. It's a very peculiar place where time flows a little differently from the way it does in Erdria. It's our sworn duty to make sure that time flows as it should, that past, present, and future are all in the right order, and that all is unfolding as intended in in other words, we make sure everything's tickety-boo. Uh, hang on a tick. I need to tell the mayor you're here. Why don't we let him explain the rest? Just head up the stairs and you'll find him in a very special place we call the... Fuck, I don't know because I accidentally hit the thing. Yo, it's so cool. They could tell me all about you. You're the luminary, aren't you? Welcome to Tickington. We mustn't waste time talking to me. Yeah, fine. There's an inn, the shops. Like, dude, it's so fucking like old school. It's so cool. This actually makes me really happy. Not gonna lie. I, I kind I kind of I kind of want to play the whole game like this now. I'm not going to, but can we just go? Yeah, we can. All right, we gotta break all your pots and barrels. Thank you. Didn't want to talk or anything. Oh, look, they're all back. Cool. Why are you red? Gosh, you really are the luminary, aren't you? I clocked it the second you arrived in the village. There's just something different about you. But don't let me take up more of your time. The mayor's waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's, let's see what this is all about. Uh-oh. TikTok, look who I've got. It's the luminary. Not a moment too soon. Ah, what a marvelous timing. Welcome to Tickington. My my name is Stickle, and I am the mayor of this fine place, beyond space and time. Now, the clock is ticking, so I will be brief. My people have a sacred mission, and that is why we sought you out. Take a look at the tomes that sit on the altars around us. In these sacred volumes are inscribed the tales of hallowed heroes from other worlds and other ages. Since time immemorial, 
the duty of my people have been to guard these books and to ensure that the great deeds of the past live on in the present. That is why we created the place where we now stand, the Echo Chamber, a sacred space where the adventure logs of all the hallowed heroes of old can be kept safe from the ravages of time. Am I going to be able to go back into, like, the past of other Dragon Quest games and, like, do stuff? Or so we had thought, but this holy haven has been sullied by an unknown miscreant who took it upon themselves to tear whole pages from our beloved books, the liberally dab others with ink. <clears throat> I am afraid I have no idea who committed this heinous crime, but what I do know is that as things stand, the heroic happenings of the past risk being lost forever. History itself hangs in the balance, which is where you come in as the hero of your own age. I must ask you to right this wrong. I must ask you to plunge into each of these volumes and set time on the right path once more. But before you dive in, you must first learn the sacred incantations that will enable you to turn back the clock. The past words. Sadly, these were long since scattered across Erdria. This being so, I have entrusted my most dependable Tuckles with a momentous task of seeking them out. Should you find one of my friends here in the course of your travels, stop a moment and speak with them. With luck, they will have learned the words that will enable you to journey through the pages of the ages. When you have learned one, you will be able to return here and visit the very legends of the greatest heroes known to space and time. Now, if I am not becoming confused in my old age, young Ickle managed to find a password just the other day. Come, my little TikTok tyke. Share what you have learned with our friend. Yes, sir. TikTok, talk tick. Let's make the uh, God. I don't like the tickety talk bullshit. <laughs> now, prick up your ears because I'll say this only once. Ickle tells Jay the past the word he's found. He can now visit Glenholm via the Altar of Origins. <clears throat> Why not strike while time's on your side and take a closer look at that altar over there? A whole new world of adventures awaits. Come on, there's no time like the present. Why'd you do it? Oh, God. The words Altar of Origins have etched into the stone of the monument. The altar allows you to visit worlds from old adventure logs. Which world would you like to visit? Uh, Glenholm? Would you? Sure. Oh, this is definitely like an... Uh-oh. Oh, it's even got random battles. Fuck yeah. We'll just go ahead and attack. That fucking music, though. So. Oh. I don't like the music. That, that the music is so bad. That, that's from the first game, I believe. Uh, oh, let me just talk to the wizard. What the fuck is you? Uh, we'll use Fizz on your ass. We'll have him attack. Veronica will use the Fizz on you as well. And Serena will just attack. Yo, I, it's so cool how it's just fucking so old school. Oh! And Serena takes it out. <clears throat> no, 
How could I get to the wizard? Again. Therese, you hear my tale, wanderer. Thou hast wandered thy way to the one time dwelling place of the legendary bard Galen, from whom our town taketh its name. Alas, thou hast arrived at the unhappy juncture. A foul monster hath had the effort tree to violate the tomb of our most famous son, and hath purloined his most precious possession, the lyre of ear. What? <laughs> Know that this storied instrument is no mere dusty relic. Nay, it is a powerful artifact indeed, and can cause monsters to flock toward whomsoever giveth its fabled strings the merest brush. I don't like the old school speak here. The thief no the thief knew this only too well and did strum upon it until this peaceful place was overrun with hideous beasts and the town folk had f all fled in fear of their lives. To surely the end of Glenholm, that is, unless a hero can, can be convinced to seek out and vanquish the fiend that dared deprive us of our most hallowed of treasures. Couldst thou be that hero? The guardian of Galen's grave wants to reclaim the lyre of ear which has been stolen by a mischievous monster. You've been asked to undertake a quest. Yeah, sure, why not? Truly, thou art gallant indeed. The culprit shaketh yet somewhere in the town. Perth, frosh the rogue out and smite them with all thy might. Oh, and keep thy wits about thee, friend. Tis oft the case that the path thou seekest lieth veiled in darkness. Verily, the shadows can yield many a surprise, and many a monster also. Tis certain that without a good deal of care, thou wilt surely perish at the hands of the creatures that prowl the town. May the spirits watch over thee. Okay, well, um... Got in your grave, blah, 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 apparently the culprit's still somewhere in town. Find them and teach them a lesson they won't forget. <laughs> Maybe they're inside here. Lamp light. Medical herb. 20 gold. And battle. Oh, well, I'll just attack. There we go. I, now, I wonder if... Like, do all the stats have to be the same, right? We, and if we level up here, that means it's just gonna cross over? God damn it. A rare find. What? Well, um, we'll just take out the first one, and then we'll just all do two, two attacks each, I guess. That, that just did not work. Oh shit. That's not good. All right, good. One of them's dead. It's so slow. I don't like it. As cool as this is, it's really slow. I, I kind of just hope this thing dies this round. God damn. Takes 
24. God, that thing's gonna fucking kill us. Oh no, we gotta heal. Yeah, okay. Jay definitely needs to heal. Do you have any items on you? No, you don't. Fuck. Alright, you'll attack. Veronica, do you have... No. Nope. Uh, well... We'll frizz that with you. Serena, you could heal Eric. Oh, fuck. Why is this thing so hard to beat? Oof, we really need to heal up Veronica. This is bad. Oh, cool. Oh, wow, fucking time. Dude, that thing was horrible. I better get some good fucking XP out of it. Thank you. Every time a party member levels up, you will earn some skill points, as the name suggests. Yeah, I get that. No, we don't need to do that. What we need to do... Uh-oh. Uh, item bag. Oh, why does it not tell me? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just kind of got to go over them. Ah. Yeah, thank you. Oh, no. Okay, Veronica's prepped up. Let's see. We'll take the first one out. Maybe put that one to sleep. This is a single enemy with razor sharp icicles. Show heal J. Does it fall asleep? Nope. 19 points of damage. This is gonna be fucking annoying. Oh, he thank you. Jay's pepped up. Pep powers. Ring of Wreck and Ruin. Alright. Uh, we'll go. Sleeper hit on that bitch. Uh, we'll do crack again. And Serena could buff Jay. Oh. Why is that bitch not dead yet? Thank you. Now it's the long haul for this motherfucker. 
Thank you for boosting my defense. Try that again, Veronica. Built a barrier around the party that provides protection from enemy spells. Uh -huh. Nothing reduces the agility of a single enemy. Yeah, we'll use that. Um, and we will buff Eric. Oh, it's not effect cam. How is that a critical spell? Oh, the thing is... Fuck yeah. Eric is pepped up. Eric. Scorched Earth. We'll attack. She'll use that. And Serena, you can heal Eric. There we go. Let's see how it goes. Take his ass out, right? 33 points of damage, nice. Five. Veronic is on B. Oh, wakes up. Oh, thank God. enemies. I'm okay with this. There we go. Wish they were all that fucking easy. How do I go around this damn town? Can I just fucking flee? And put the enemy blocks away. I, I realize I don't like the turn-based battles. It's just not doing it for me anymore. taken out. I was gonna say, where the fuck is the thing if the town is so small? But, yeah, it happens to be right there. I believe, anyway. Bahaha, <laughs> the layer of air is hard to beat. I can just keep drumming up new fans. Uh, is that a human? You come to hear me play, right? What are you banging on about? You want to give you want me to give the liar back after all the trouble I went through to snare it? Fat chance of that. This thing is great. I'm a bit of a misfit among my bongo banging brethren, you see. My rhythm's all over the place and I can't sing for trough. All I've ever wanted is an audience that appreciates something a bit different. Now all I have to do is strum the lyre and a whole bunch of alternative music fans show up to kick it with me. I've never had so much fun. It's 
So if you're going to try to make me give it back, I'm gonna have to beat you black and blue. Drum roll, please. Oh, God. It's a you. Alright. Oh, I forgot I had the f flame slash. Maybe we could put the damn bitch to sleep. Let's see. Here's a single significant raises defense of a single party member. I have loads of group of enemies in an illusion. Alright, we'll buff Jay first. Decelerate. Alright. Oh, God damn it. Wongo Bongo. Oh, we're gonna. We're definitely gonna take him out first. Hopefully within a couple of hits. Ha! Fuck are you, guy? Oh, Serena becomes pepped up. That's what I like. Fire. Forms a barrier that protects all party members. Fire base attack. Uh, that Just buff her so she don't die so she can keep everybody healed. Oh, nice. Fuck yeah. Now we're gonna take this last thing out and be done with this part of the game, hopefully. For now, anyway. I said, I, I'd rather not have the random battles. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Trying to do well. Kind of really annoyed with the, uh... It's dark and deathly, silent up ahead. It doesn't seem like a good idea to go any further. Kind of annoyed with the old school uh, portion of this game, truthfully. The random battles have been quite horrible. Right. The other wanderer returneth, and it seems that thou hast recovered our beloved lair. Please hand it over to me. Well, I will try. J heads over the lair of error. Praise be. The liar is returned to us, and the townspeople who fled can return home once more. Words alone cannot adequately express my gratitude, but perhaps this can. Nice. It must now be laid to rest again beside he who once eked such sweet music with its strings. Try to be. It it, it is a nice game once I get off of this. Oh, fuck yeah, the people are back. Uh, cool. Can I just step on this and go back to where we were? Where we were? We actually can. Cool. Ah, so you have returned. And what tale do you have to wrangle me with this time, eh? Jay tells the mayor of Tickington everything that happened during his adventure in the past. Goodness me, Glenholm was besieged by monsters, you say. A new follower. Thank you so much for that follow. 
<laughs> you were stalking me. Uh, perhaps these are merely the musings of an old man, but I have a feeling that the Vandal who defaced our beloved books may be attempting to rewrite history itself. Oh god, you're a bot. <clears throat> Account was created August 10th. Yeah, you're a bot. Bye bye. Jesus, first person I thought I had here. Oh, God. But anyway, perhaps these are merely the musings of an old man, but I have a feeling that. Some vando who defaced our beloved books may be attempted to rewrite history itself. But as long as you are able to visit each of our heroic ages and right the wrongs that have been wrought there, the proper flow of time will be restored soon enough. In which case, you'll need to continue to seek out and speak with the Tackles who are traveling the length and breadth of Erdria in search of passwords. The more of them you learn, the more ancient ages you will be able to visit. If anyone can find them all and put things right, it's you. It's time for you to shine, my dear hero. As Tacos, our sacred mission has always been to ensure that the great deeds of the past remain intact for the sake of the future. But we need your help. Please, history itself hangs in the balance. Cool. Can I, um, not do this anymore? Okay, I don't have to. I have no other words, so. Do I just, uh. Does he ever move? I could go back to my world, right? Please let me go back to my world. It'd be wonderful. It really would be. That was cool, and that little thing has a bow tie. Welcome back, Luminary. I heard you took a moment to listen to the mayor's request for assistance. Thank you, and good luck. I'm tickled. Echo's uncle. Come and talk to me when you decide the time is right for a trip to Tickington. Oh, wait a second. The mayor had something he wanted to pass on. I'd get a proper ticking off of it. I forgot. If I forgot. Tick tock, tick tock, bring back the past, turn back the clock. Jerry remembers the location of the tacos who are searching for passwords. Huh? Press triangle to select passwords from the info menu to get some hints on where to find the tacos you're looking for. Once you've tracked down a taco, have them teach you their password. It's as simple as that. I'm sure you'll have a fine time of it. Good luck. So, what do I do? Is this it? No, party talk. Hey! I wish I No. I don't want to go back. I like this shit. Where am I going? I have to go down. Yes! Oh, God. Oh, none may pass without um, a pass. Show the God my pass. They show the Galapagos pass to the card. Very well, everything seems to be in order. Through you go. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. At least know where that thing is. And I could just... Uh, what the fuck? Did you see that? No, I have to 
bit. Now. Wait a minute. Now. Stop party talk. Notice the transfer from Quest Catalog photo book. Uh, okay, well, whatever. We'll figure it out. It looks like a big ass blue king slime. The Salt Knight of Galapagos. That is definitely where I'm heading. Can't pick those things. It's not Builders 2. Actually, really pretty. The hammer hood. I think it's so fucking cool. I got a bunnies. And in we go. Very long story, at least. Maybe it doesn't look like that much of a king slime. But from outside, the top sure as hell did. Whoa. Oh, just look at all these people. How marvelous. Is there some kind of festival going on, I wonder? Quite possibly. Hmm. Yes, of course. Galopolis is the kingdom of the Desert Knights, isn't it? And of the racetrack where they love to compete. I think we've arrived in town just in time for the horse racing festival. Oh, I'm gonna well, have to race Well, you horse, go play I? with ponies if you like. I'm off to look for the Yggdrasil branch. That's why we're here, in case you've forgotten. Yeah, but we could chill. Calm down. Oh, let Mr. Moody no fun go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. True. Plus, you know, items, weapons, stuff like that. We might have to buy some shit. Not to mention, there's already people that want help. Can I jump down here? Oh, I fucking can. Always gotta check the wells. There's one with a locked door. Really kinda want that fucking key. Oh, it's like some skeleton key so we could go back to all the damn locked doors. Because that would be fucking lovely. And it's gonna say Loctite. And look, look, there's a fucking chest right there. I want the damn chest. What's over here? There's a shiny thing. We like shinies. Oh, what? Alright. And up we go. Now that we look like a fucking weirdo who jumped down a well, let's go search the town. may have to come back and grind a bunch for the money to for stuff that we need. How many official sword supplier? I want to see what items you have. The rapier. Uh, already got that on him, I believe. I will get one of those for her. I'm not gonna get her a new one. It's only one point. But that seven point jump on the fairy staff, that'll, uh, that'll come in handy for her. Yes, equip it now. She's never gonna be a hard hitter, but it is. But, oh.
Battle Whip? No. Straightforward Iron Sphere of the type used all over. Alright. We will buy one and give it to her. We'll let her we'll let her use Lance's shit. She could be a battle mage. Ain't gonna have no money for anything else, but that's why we could go out and kill monsters over and over again. I'm always down to grind. Always. Fuck, is this still part of a pretty diner set? We have 400, so maybe we can buy something. Bunny ears, really? Hairband top with long, flabby ears. Dancer's costume. An alluring outfit. Often worn by dancers and other entertainers. I, I think I want that and the bunny ears. We're definitely gonna have to go out and grind, so we will do that actually off stream. But, as well as these other missions here, We could pick up the thing now, though. Uh, cactus cutlet. And so I am afraid I have bad news for you. The kitchen is currently closed while I dedicate my energies to improving the recipe. I am certain that a golden global would intensify the flavor tenfold. But acquiring such an ingredient is easier said than done. The golden globals, the cacti who carry them, are extremely vicious. Ah, but they would pose no problem for a young and, no doubt, vigorous individual such as yourself, I am sure. Perhaps you could assist me. Would you be willing to hunt down a golden globe in order to acquire the golden global? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna require a single golden a cactus cutlet to die for, apparently. Alright. We got that. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Oh, I can. No load seats. This is a dude! Oh, sorry, he's just here. Oh, he's gonna be on our team. Alright, cool. Um, I'll just come back here and help myself to an empty fucking chest, apparently. Can't do anything else. But that dude's gonna be on our party. That's kind of cool, just seeing them beforehand. <laughs> Locked. Locked, flicked, and tight. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go check the building right here. Let's see? That's locked from the other side. Is there any... <gasps> Way we might be able to. No, uh huh? Let's just break these real quick. Get some oasis of water. Uh, check inside these places. All I'm looking for is the red books to learn new recipes. Uh, 
and unfortunately you have to check everywhere for them. Wonder if you're gonna be able to buy any though at some point. I I doubt it, but I could see it happening. Here's a red book. The water, the more, the gun, the service, they take this shelf, this kind of circuit, blah, 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 blah. Shrub finally arrives. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't need no. I just need stuff. Go. Why do you have two doors on the same wall that lead to the same area? shit for my baby. Oh, a wayfarer's clothes. I don't need them anymore. Stop that. Oh. Look at the pretty horses. I bother the horses. First, I gotta go back out here. Right. All the way around to the purple dot. Which is this person? How much longer must I wait? Why must the sands torture me so? Ah, good day to you. You are perhaps wondering why I'm standing here, yes? Um, not in particular. Priority and the prestige sort of image I would like to paint a mighty magnificent conflict unfolding in the desert. Okay. Whatever, just tell me what I need. The painter wants you to inspire him by using the wild side pep power to defeat a spitfire. Okay. Sure. Uh, I'll go do that in a bit. Yeah. I have to go this way. I think I do. Can't say no. Really? I would have thought Dirt would have been fucking yelling at the yelling at the sultan. Oh, it's a fuck. Come on, third time to try. Fuck it, stupid prince. That's why I'm just gonna walk into a... Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's private. That's fine. Yeah, like, they're gonna steal his fucking chest, too. Look at that. I'm gonna go on the other side and fucking ransack the other room. Hi, kitty. Aw. They meowed at me. Oh, it's two bucks. My one has to be fucking. Alright. Sinking to the flame and a faded. Page two, but something tells him it's not quite ready yet. Oh, god damn it. Can't break them. Oh, another chest. 
Woohoo! An iron broadsword. Actually, is that better than mine? No. No, it is not. I don't break the pots. Get the flowers. Thank you. Let's uh, go on up here. And cut it. Disgrace, my fellow Gallopolitans. This disgrace. <coughs> fellow Gallopolitans, this is no ordinary sand national. This race marks the day that Faris, my son and heir, comes of age, and as such... You, no, no, no! An event of such significance must have eloquence to match. Such functional pleasantries will not thrill my beloved subjects. No. Hmm? And who exactly might you be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave. Immediately. Sorry. Ha -ha! Father, my training is complete. You would think he would look more like a main character. Not the main character, but like a, a party member more than the circus dude. <coughs> then give me the pledge. Uh -oh. A knight's word is his bond, his kingdom his master. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong un unflinchingly, ha, and never retreats in the face of adversity. Mm, yes, very good. The knight's pledge must always be your guide, my son. <laughs> hmm? Oh, that background's great. You are a man now, Faris. And tomorrow's race shall prove it. You must show your people that you are worthy of their adulation. Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor they. your name, stranger? And what brings you to Galopolis? Oh, no. Hmm. Surely he speaks of the rainbow. It is the only treasure of our kingdom that would warrant such a description. I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the great staircase. I shall await you there. No hackerpacker. No funny business. Damn it. This is a nice palace, though. Very pretty. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Oh yeah, it's this. Why are you so close to the bed? This is a business arrangement, not a fucking sexy time, buddy. You fucking get your turn. Ah, oh, you oh, came. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Oh, look at me up and down. Your height and physique are perfect, and you have the face of one who knows horses. Okay. You should be aware that the branch you seek is a priceless royal treasure. My father is unlikely to give it away freely to some <laughs> wandering stranger. However, 
he might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. No, we want <gasps> <to worry. clears throat> But the palace walls have so many unwelcome ears. Ah. ah, the noise of the circus will protect our privacy. Will you join me there? Then it is agreed. I, I, no I will choice. meet you at the entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. Do not be late, please. I'll try not to be. Oh, God. Kitty! Why are those guys? Another kitty. Oh my god, there's so many kitties. You were that weirdo, yeah. Who is the weirdo? Oh, hello. Wait, do I have to wait till evening or can I just there now. I go inside again. Can't come through here right now. The show's about to start. The box office is right next door. If you need tickets, fine. Hello. I'm oh, sorry, the tent's not open during the daytime. Come back this evening if you want to see the series. Well, what the end is like right here. Headbook! I just want to make handles, wizard stabs, tricky turbans, dizzy or dunner glasses, or chantus gloves. Nice! It's actually a lot of shit. Hey, right, yo. I need sleep. That's the well. Dawn and dust night. Thank you. That, that, that was easy. I'm gonna go check the rest of this place because there might be another book. the last person who stayed here, so I'm stealing my own shit. Like that turban. And we go to the big top. And he's hiding. Hey, you. You came excellent. The noise of the circus will allow us to speak without being overheard. Shall we go inside? Sure. There should be a cutscene. There we go. Ooh. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time okay. for the act you've all been waiting for. The wandering wonder who amazes audiences wherever he goes. Prepare yourselves for an experience like no other. Prepare yourselves for the Great Silvando.
Ladies and gentlemen, please! There is no need to be afraid! The great Silvando will never endanger his adoring audience. After all, darlings, you are the ones who make this show so special! I love you all! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> mm. Quickly, mm. we must talk while the people are distracted. And please, not a word of this to anyone. Okay. Now, as you may be aware, the Sun National is the most important event of the year here in Galopolis. And tomorrow, I am due to make my debut in the race to end all races. However, there is a problem. One teeny tiny terrible problem. I cannot ride. In fact, I have barely so much as sat in a saddle. That's <laughs> not good. I have so far been able to hide this uh, unfortunate fact, but if I were to take part in the race, the inconvenient truth would surely be uncovered. And yet I have no choice for a prince of Golopolis not to take part in the Sun National on the year of his coming of age is unthinkable, unthinkable. Huh? So you see, your coming here was fated. It is a sign. The forces of destiny mean me to use you as my double. Ta-da! Your double? How's that gonna work? Won't everyone notice as soon as he walks out onto the track? Ah, the fates have provided that also! For you see, the royal family always races in full armor, lest the unthinkable occur. His face will be hidden from view! Oh, please, please! I beg of you, you must help me! You must enter the Sun National in my place! You are well the most then. pathetic excuse for a prince I've ever seen! If you think we're going to help you lie to your people, you've got another thing coming. Huh. Is that so? Then I assume that your need of the rainbow is not so great after all. Wow. Talk about shameless. I mean, he does have something over your damn head. Call me what you will, it changes nothing. You will do as the fates wish and take my place in the race? Yes? I don't think I really have that much of a choice. Ah, I knew you would see sense in the end. Thank you. I will talk to my father about the rainbow as soon as the race is over. You have my word. I took the liberty of arranging rooms for you at the inn. Rest well. I will see you in the stables, bright and early. You will find the stable entrance in the western part of the city. Do not be late. Now, I must be on my way. Farewell, friends! <laughs> I, I wouldn't say so much friends. Oh. So fun, though. Jay and company spend the night in the rooms. Prince Ferris arranged for them. Then morning comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of want to save before I do anything else. Come on, open up, thank you. Mr. Priest, dude. Oh, yeah. And uh, there we go. Hey, right, people, thank you all so much for watching. We're gonna end this one here and, uh, Oh, it quits for the day, so we'll